Congenital short QT syndrome is an inherited clinical syndrome which was described by Gusak et al. in 2000. A gene mutation causing short QT syndrome was first demonstrated by Brugada et al. in January 2004. This mutation in HERG, KCNH2 gene, was later called as SQT1 and was due to gain in function of IKS, the slow component of the delayed rectifier potassium current. Later on in the same year, SQT2 was described by Belloc et al. as a mutation in KCNQ1, KVLQT1, which caused a gain in function of IKR, the rapid component of delayed rectifier potassium current. SQT3 was identified by Priori et al. as a mutation in KCNJ2 gene, which causes a gain in function of IK1 potassium current. Short QT syndrome is characterized by consistently short QT intervals, usually below 300 milliseconds, which does not lengthen with bradycardia. There is a propensity for sudden cardiac death and atrial fibrillation. Family history of sudden death may be forthcoming. Electrophysiologically, short QT syndrome is characterized by short refractory periods and inducible ventricular fibrillation at electrophysiology study. Shortening of QT interval can occur in tachycardia, hypothermia and hypercalcemia. Digoxin can also shorten the QT interval. These should be excluded before considering a diagnosis of short QT syndrome. Treatment options for short QT syndrome are limited. Some have reported lengthening of QT interval with quinidine. Most patients with short QT syndrome and a risk of sudden cardiac death get an implantable cardioverter defibrillator implanted.